Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a little torching on the trailer today and I figured it'd be a good opportunity to teach y'all some oxy fuel. I think this is gonna be a good episode for anyone who wants to know a little bit more about the process and some of the do's and don'ts with oxy fuel and oxyacetylene cutting. Let's get into it. With oxy fuel cutting, you need at least oxygen and some sort of fuel. Today, we're gonna focus on acetylene. That's what we're gonna be using. You can use a different range of pressures with your oxygen to your acetylene according to the metal thickness that you're using and the cutting tip that you're using. And we've had a lot of videos on oxygen and acetylene cutting. If you haven't seen them already, go check out these videos. Today, I'm gonna to teach you some more fundamentals of the process. One of those being is what these two gases even do to our metal. The acetylene is coming in getting that metal nice and hot, getting it ready for that oxygen to rapidly oxide, not melt, which is most people think. It rapidly oxides and burns the steel away. You can cut through crazy thick metals with it. And with the right technique, you can even long cut some metals with it, which is something that we're gonna be going over today. However, it is not suitable for all metals. Sometimes it's difficult to cut carbon steel if you don't know what you're doing. I think a lot of people know what we're gonna go over first, and that is what metals you can actually cut. This is one of the fundamentals of oxyacetylene, oxy fuel, oxy whatever cutting, is you need what we talked about early, is that iron oxide that is able to rapidly react with that oxygen. If you're not able to form that iron oxide, then you're not gonna be able to get that reaction. That being said, we're only limited to cutting ferrous metals. Maybe something you've never heard before, but here's how I can make it really obvious to you. If you go Look on the periodic table of elements. What is iron? Iron is Fe. Fe is the first two letters in the word ferrous. That's how you know what a ferrous metal is. It contains iron. So for our low carbon steel, we've got iron in there. When we move into our stainless, there's virtually none. There's some carbon in there, but there's not exactly a whole lot of iron, if any at all. And then we move again into our aluminum, non-ferrous metals. So you can kind of predict what's gonna to happen to these three metals as we go about cutting them. 